This question is from Ekta Agarwal. Please guide the women of the country who are dealing with lazy partners, <laughs> stubborn parents, bored children on how to coexist compassionately amidst all the chaos when household workload has increased and our work front identity has disappeared. You are a very fortunate woman. You have a lazy partner, an overactive man. Twenty-four hours in the house, he is a bull in the china shop, he is lazy. You are very fortunate because he either sleeps or watch television, something like that. If he was overactive, a whole lot of trouble. No, your idea of being a more active partner is that he will come into the kitchen and wash dishes and sweep the floor and... Mm, there are some very nice men like that, but most men are not like that. I'm not saying <laughs> washing dishes is a woman's job, cleaning the house is a woman's job, no. But man doesn't mind living dirty. A woman wants things clean, so she has to clean it. <laughs> Otherwise, you just go into a bachelor's den and see everything is everywhere. <laughs> they will go, they'll shower and come, they'll start go picking, where is my underwear, where is my clothing, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Here uh, at the yoga center, we are training the men to be little more hmm? disciplined. Otherwise, it is uh, in the mindset of a man that, you know, it's taken... I, I've seen in the last forty years, uh, I've been constantly trying to get people to park their footwear together. <laughs> because it's a male disposition to come and kick the footwear, one here, one there. Now we've, uh, l you know, we've awakened the feminine in all the men here at least and in all our programs that they all park their footwear properly. Tch. Usually, they will kick it out and because the woman cannot bear it, she will come and put it together somewhere. So, because this happened, one Shankaran Pillai, now, not once, now, in the virus era, because this will be remembered as a era. <laughs> in this virus times, Shankaran Pillai went and parked his car in the emergency entrance of a hospital, where the emergency lane. Uh, then the police came and pulled him up and said, what is this? He said, well, it was marked there, uh, fine for parking. <laughs> so that is how he understands. <laughs> fine for parking means fine for parking. <laughs> so, uh, what, what are the children's qualities? Stubborn parents and bored children. Oh, okay. Stubborn parents, bored children. Well, this is the family we have bred, isn't it? And uh, you're losing your professional identity. That's a good thing actually for some time, unless you're working from home. This is important to understand that this is the best time if you want to transform your family, whatever they are, they are stubborn, they are bored, they are lazy, they are overactive, they are nonsensical, whatever they are, different people are different things. But now you have them captive in your home. If you want to transform them, this is the best time. 
Because once they go out, they're not available. So whichever way you wish to transform them, if you want to try, there is no better time than the virus era because they're all stuck in the house, they have to. If you say ten things, at least two things they must do, they can't just ignore it. However stubborn or lazy they are, or however bored they are, if you say ten things, at least two things they got to do, because otherwise, nourishment is in your hands, from what I understand. <laughs> from the way you're describing, obviously they are not... none of them are cooking. You're the one, so nourishment is in your hands. So very easily you can. All you have to do is dinner time. Maybe today it's too late, you already cooked. Tomorrow, breakfast time, ask everybody to whatever time, you know, they will... that one thing they'll demand, they will not be lazy about it. So breakfast time, everybody arrives, you also sit down, if necessary, uh, say asatoma, sadgamaya, or sing a song if you want, if you know how to sing. But no breakfast. Well, we're all happy and together, what does it matter? Breakfast or no breakfast, what does it matter? You give them a talk, how it doesn't matter after all. We're all together. Family is about being together. Not about washing dishes, cleaning the house, this is not what family is about. Family is about being together and blowing kisses at each other. Then they will all understand, family means you have to wash your dishes, you have to clean the floor, you have to take the cobwebs out, you have to go put the garbage out. This is what arrangement of family means. In all this, with garbage bag in your hand, if you can also blow a kiss, you're doing great. But if you cannot, just do that because that is the first aspect of the family. It's an organization. It's an organization where people have to eat, people have to live, people have to live there. That means a few things have to be done first. After that, how loving and wonderful you are is after that, you better get that. So, tomorrow morning if you invite them to the breakfast and give them a nice sloka or a song or whatever you know, and tell them how we are the most fantastic family, Let's live together, really lovingly, holding hands, doesn't matter what is breakfast. Petty things like that is not our concern <laughs> Well, uh, lazy people will get fixed, stubborn people will get fixed, bored people will get interested, <laughs> everything will happen <laughs> Don't think family means uh, a big love affair, no, it's a lot of management. <laughs> you can manage lovingly, that's a different matter, but lots of management. Otherwise, no relationships will endure without sensible management of situations, very important. <laughs>